Hey, y'all. Thank you for sticking it out with us for this episode. Uh, this is something we're trying out. We're going to have some videos to play during the breaks where we are going to discuss some Castle Mac lore. We make a lot of references to it in our former games, and we've had a lot of people kind of ask us uh, for a little bit of context. So uh, so this first video, we're going to talk about the first campaign we ever played, which was the Tyranny of Dragons campaign. Uh, a lot of those characters get referenced all the time in what we call the Mac Gotten Realm, sort of our world. Sean, you want to you wanna tell us who was playing who and, and yeah, kind of what we were sure. up to? This is a good one to reference. It's not on stream, and it's the biggest kind of epic event that's taken place that has now shaped our version of the Sword Coast. Uh, so yeah, so player-wise, we had Lydia, Raven, myself, and we had our friend Jeff playing. Uh, those were the players. Steven was the DM. Mm -hmm. uh, it quickly started. We had a Tiefling Druid played by Nith, who is Nithbis, played right. by Raven. So you see, you hear Nithbis referenced a lot throughout our other games. She currently, as of today, when we're recording it, we're on episode seven of Waterdeep Dragon Heist. Mm -hmm. She runs. Uh, essentially established a town called Goldenleaf just outside of Neverwinter that kind of caters to adventurers. After seeing what adventurers were able to do for the world, she kind of fosters that. So, so she's referenced quite a bit, and she's sort of leading the charge against the growing threat of Tiamat's return. She's sort of yes. heading up the research and planning for what they're going to do about that. Uh, and then... Ennis, who Lydia plays, is the high matron of the Church of Andalar. She started out just as a level one cleric. Level one high elf cleric. She has ascended, and now that we're currently in Waterdeep, the Church of Andalar, certainly post the events, mm -hmm. Andalar has become a, a major name in the pantheon of gods. It's kind of moved right. from the margin to the center due to Ennis. So, right. And the Church of Andalar has been rebuilt. Yeah, the Church of Anal in our events was destroyed. The one in Waterdeep was destroyed in, a, in a, a huge, basically, battle that took place inside the city, but was rebuilt kind of to her specifications. And she's now, yeah, the high matron of this church that became very popular, basically because she was one of the heroes that slew Tiamat. So with that, we have kind of Nithbis, which is the kind of leader of the arcane and natural magic, and Ennis, which is kind of the divine magic. So those are the kind of two pillars right. of magic that we have in the realm. Right. Uh, Jeff's Salos was kind of, uh, you know, a well-known pirate trying to, mm -hmm. trying to turn his life around, and went back and forth. Was good, right. then got afraid of being good, so went back mm -hmm. to disappearing uh, until he was actually ultimately killed when the right. Church of Andalor... Uh, was destroyed, but in another video we'll talk about yes. how we went to hell to get him back. Right. He was killed, he is back now, so he's referenced in our first episode of Waterdeep Dragon Heist, and, and occasionally pops up elsewhere as well. Uh, but yeah, actually our f very first stream ever was the story of them going to hell to re recover his yes. soul. I'm not, I think that's on our YouTube, but it might not even be. It might be on my personal YouTube, so if you're interested, hit me up. It's rough around the edges, but it was fun. Yeah, it was it was the <laughs> test run, a weekend test run. Yes. Uh, I'll, I'll introduce this character, because oh, you don't okay. have to talk about yourself. Uh, Sean here played everyone's favorite uh, Goliath Barbarian, Kothai, a.k.a. Brimskir, a.k.a. the rock upon which the wave breaks. And many other names. Yep. And uh, sweet boy Kothai joined the party somewhat late after a couple other of Sean's characters, which we don't talk about anymore. So Kothai, uh, he's he's my one of my favorite characters because we used him to establish lore about the giants in the Macgotten realm. So they were sort of uh, Viking centric, right? And Stephen definitely made it, and I think um, made a a decision, a creative decision that the giants that we interacted with in Horde of the Dragon Queen and Old Eveld ultimately were good. I mean, they had their own issues with helping out and why they wanted to help, but at right. least Old Eveld giants of Frost and kind of Cloud Giant clan ultimately is good mm -hmm. and helped out throughout. The rest of the giants, right. the Ordning may or may not be there, but this particular set of right. giants was just kind of Viking noble conquerors. Yeah, they were, they were fun. That was a fun sesh. So I think that kind of wraps up for the uh, Tyranny of Dragons campaign. Certainly certain uh, 
events are referenced there, but I think that, you know, Sean touched on this uh, earlier. The point of that campaign is that war with Tiamat was wide-reaching. It wasn't just some heroes showed up to fight her. It took all of the resources on the Sword Coast. It took an alliance with the Metallic Dragons, who made off with a considerable amount of wealth, which kind of plunged the Sword Coast into some pretty dark times for the preceding years. Yep. So or I, succeeding years. For just a bullet point, the heroes entered, they got wrapped up in the cult, they were soon asked to continue to go through a caravan. Mm -hmm. They've taken the fight, they obtained some of the things they needed to to help stop Tiamat from returning. Right. Uh, ultimately got the help of the giants, returned to Waterdeep, had uh, the church destroyed. Yep. And then, in the end, managed to unite both grabbing the metallic dragons, uh, kind of their voice spoke out and uplifted, in fact, Never Ember himself yes. on the council, uh, to have the armies march. And then, once the armies marched, there was a, I mean, huge battle mm -hmm. that engulfed the Well of Dragons. Right. And in that time, I think it's uh, important to note that the Sky Reach, which is the flying castle that was owned by the giants of Oldeveld, was destroyed. So if people are curious about what the other characters are up to now, we talk about Nithbis and Innis. Kothai is now seeking to rebuild Skyreach. He only has one piece missing at this point. But yes, they uh, nobly sacrificed themselves by crashing Skyreach mm -hmm. into the final battle. So Yep, that the, was fun. Wish that was on stream. I wish that, that was, was a fun on battle. stream. That was incredible. <laughs> uh, but Tiamat was stopped, mm -hmm. but... Uh, in later videos and some other things, you'll find out that Tiamat is by no means gone. Nope. All right, I think that was a good summary. Uh, I know some of you guys have asked about some of our lore. We'll continue to do these mm -hmm. and uh, play them on the break so that people can kind of catch up, get some additional context. Uh, all right, thanks, everybody. Right, thanks, guys.